hello friends welcome to free care tutorial and in this tutorial we will model this part and uh, you can see that uh, I have already modeled it and I will show you from the scratch how you can do the same in free care with the help of a part design workbench so I will close this file and create a new file you can also visit my website macnexus.com where I write articles and tutorials on FreeCAD. You can download my tutorial source file from here, tutorial source file page. And you can also support me by buying a cup of coffee on coffee.com. Your uh, small support will help this channel to grow and it will motivate me to create more awesome content on FreeCAD. I thanks to all my supporters, those who have supported me by buying a cup of coffee. So keep supporting and uh, it will help me to grow this channel and uh, it will motivate me to create more awesome and useful tutorials on FreeCAD. So let's come back to our tutorial. So here I have uh, created a new file and I will uh, create a body then on my origin plane and I will select this front plane to create my base sketch go to the model tab and off the plane and now we will create our first sketch on this front profile so for this I will uh, create a uh, two circle inner one is of a 35 so select diameter and give it 35 and uh, outer one is a 60 and uh, close it and select the sketch click on extrude and click on reverse and give the distance of uh, 38 press 0 and now we will select this face and create a datum plane at a distance of a 5 mm and then we will create this profile so we will select the face and click on datum plane and in a z direction I will give the minus 5 select ok now we will click on rebuild select the datum plane and click on the sketch now we will project the geometry and from here we will uh, switch to the wireframe and uh, hide it and then first thing which I will do is to create a three point arc and now remove the conflict now I will select this and this and add a vertical relation and I will uh, select a polyline tool and create a rough profile select a three point arc now select a line tool now we will uh, select this and this and add a tangent select this and this and add a tangent select this at a vertical relation now select this line and at the horizontal dimension of a 36 select radius and this is of a 10 mm select the vertical and uh, 28 and select this and uh, this 9 and uh, select the vertical dimension select this and this and add the 58 and now So here I will uh, merge the center, press Ctrl Z, delete this dimension, select this and this and add the merge 
and now delete this conflicting dimension now select this and this and add the dimension 58 so here our uh, sketch is fully constrained click on close press V7 and uh, click on extrude and give the value 33 and from here say reverse say ok and now we will select this phase and uh, click on the sketch press isometric so to the top view and here I will uh, create a rectangle go to the top and uh, select uh, this point and this point and add the horizontal dimension of a 10 mm select the vertical select this and this and give the value 14 mm select a horizontal dimension and give it 40 select the vertical dimension give it 30 click on close click on extrude cut and from here select up to face and select this face click on ok now press the zero now we will uh, create a datum plane we will select this face and uh, click on the datum plane and here we will give the value minus 28 and uh, click on ok now I will select the datum plane and click on the sketch now switch to the isometric and now hide it switch to the top click on uh, project geometry and uh, from here we will select the polyline tool and we will uh, create a rough profile and now we will uh, remove the conflict say delete now we will give the dimension so this horizontal dimension is of a 55 select the vertical dimension this dimension is of uh, 35 it is 55 and this is of a uh, 28 select the horizontal dimension give the 28 and this is of the 14 so select the vertical and give it 14 so click on ok now our sketch is fully constrained and this thickness is of a 10 mm so we will select the sketch click on extrude say reverse and we will give the thickness of a 10 mm click on ok now we will go to the pad and from here we will say refine is true so you can see that it has been merged now we will provide the fillet of uh, R6 so go to the fillet select uh, this edge this edge this edge and uh, this one and uh, provide the fillet of a uh, 6mm and say ok now press 0 now we will select this face and uh, click on the sketch press isometric go to the top click on the project geometry and we will uh, select a rectangle now we will uh, select a three point arc create a three point arc and select this and this say tangent select this and this say tangent and uh, select vertical dimension and give it a 15 mm select a radius and give it a R4 and we will uh, project this edge now give it a 14 mm so select this and this and give the horizontal dimension of a 14 mm click on close click on extrude cut 
select uh, up to face click on ok now we will uh, create this hole press 0 for isometric select this face and uh, click on the sketch click on the project geometry click on the circle and uh, go to the diameter and uh, provide the diameter of a 10 mm click on close click on extrude cut and from here see it's wall so here we have uh, successively converted uh, this uh, isometric drawing into the 3d model now we will uh, go to the appearances and from here we will select the shape color and uh, we will uh, provide uh, approximate color click on ok so this is how we have uh, did this model and i hope you have uh, enjoyed this tutorial and this tutorial is designed for the beginner user of a free cad those who have uh, just started learning the part modeling if you like this tutorial then please like subscribe and share my channel and also support me on coffee.com your small support will help these channels to grow and it will motivate me to create more awesome content on free cad thank you for watching and thank you for your valuable time